day. So just being careful about everybody around me, riding in the center of the lane like it says to do in the road book because the road is dry. You might see little flecks of water, but it's not actually retaining any moisture. Okay, well, this is pretty, this is pretty intuitive. Okay, and now that I'm going fast enough, I understand why counter steering is a technique. As I push on the bar, I push away from me. So this is the opposite of uh, my driving technique with my steering, where I say we should pull down towards the desired intention uh, direction to travel. Here we, we, we pull. On the bike, we push away from us, excuse me, where we want to go. So I, I would push on the right bar and look to the right to go towards the right. Oh my god, this is super interesting. This feels different, way different than being on a car. It's decently natural. So I'm covering the brake at all times, or trying to anyway. And yes, I'm going 35 in a 45 zone. I don't give a shit. I will go as slow as I want to. had to get used to the idea of kind of leading up right against the bike. I'm glad I started losing some weight for my racing school. I wouldn't be able to get this close to the bike. It's also definitely a comfortable feeling. And when I sit up, there's definitely more exhaustion from the weight of everything pushing on me aerodynamically. You could definitely notice that right away for sure. Okay, the idea that the right brake is the front brake is a little bit foreign because on uh, trail bikes, like mountain bikes and street bikes, the left brake is the front brake, but on this one, the left handle is the clutch. Oh, nasty wind gust there. I am not comfortable with how gusty it is out here. throttle throw on this is so short. I'm just trying to get used to when the bike wants to turn on and off. And definitely seems like when I'm in first gear and I'm just kind of like idle power tootling around in the parking lot is when the uh, the bike switches to no longer wanting to counter steer and actually steering the direction that you want to go. Should probably signal. Okay, let's get this. in neutral. Okay, neutral indicator, off. Clutch out, and stand down, steering all the way to the left. Power off, okay. Whew. Okay, well, that's a new experience. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm riding on the right-hand side of the lane for two reasons. One, to get me away from the traffic, and two, to get me on the wheel tracks of where cars have run. So it's a little bit drier, and I am off the edge of the road crown. I think I am out of gears. I don't like the fact that this road is 45 miles an hour. I'm going to be honest. Whee! A little bit of a bump there. We're doing okay. And the bike goes where I want it to go. So. And has no brakes, too. People in front of me are slowing down. Let's go down to fifth. Fifth 
and sixth are pretty much the same gear. They're both really short. Fifth goes in really easy. This reminds me a lot of my Legends car. Both the gearbox and the really short throw of the uh, throttle. Legends car had a really short throttle as well because it was derivative off of a, an old FJ Cruiser. Now they say to use first gear with your clutch in, it stops in the owner's manual. I'm not sure if that's the best for the clutch, but just because I'm uncomfortable riding a bike and it's my first time, that's what I'm doing. If I could consistently get the car in neutral and be able to then get it into first and be ready to pull away in time without almost stalling the bike, we're probably at about a Ficon 5 right now. It's definitely starting to get actually legitimately wet. Now is this person turning, turning, or did they just want to get in front of me? Okay, sixth gear. I'm gonna get over on the right where it's dry here. You can physically see that it's drier. I think I just accidentally bit my horn. I'm brand new, can you blame me? But I wanna turn around before this rain gets heavier. It's still what I would consider light, but um, you know. Apparently I'm getting 86 miles per gallon right now. Cool. And I probably should have rain xed my visor before I went out because I thought I was going to be able to get out when there was no rain. But just in case, that would have been smart to do. But I'm not the sharpest knife in the crayon box. Doing the legal speed the whole time because we only speed legally, kids. And if you can't pay, we'll take it away.